Flow-induced vibration, FIV, and vortex-induced vibration, VIV, are structural responses created by the transient fluid dynamic loads. Vortices and other flow structures creating the fluid dynamic loads are from vortices shed from leading edges, sharp corners, and in the wake of structures. The vortex shedding, as well as the added fluid mass and the viscous damping, create complex engineering fluid and structural problems. Flow-induced vibration occurs in many engineering applications. The structural vibration reduces equipment performance and leads to fatigue, and under certain harmonic responses of the structure, can also lead to catastrophic failure. Engineers must understand the sources of structural vibrations and the related fluid dynamics loads, amplitudes, and frequencies in order to design safer, more reliable structures and equipment. Predicting a flow-induced vibration accurately requires fluid dynamics, structural analysis, the ability to handle complex geometry motion, and an accurate account of coupled fluid structural interaction. For example, let's examine design of a new cone flow meter intended to be used in subsea applications. One critical concern was that the vortex shedding over the cone could lead to flow-induced vibration and failure during the 25-year design life. This may lead to unscheduled maintenance and possible performance penalties. Other design challenges include compact design, high operating pressure, large turndown ratios, no moving parts, operation for single or multi-phase flows, and rugged design, all interdependent through a number of physical relationships. This complexity requires a unique simulation solution, one able to integrate multiple physical phenomena. ANSYS Multiphysics is used to investigate the flow meter design under real-life conditions, ensuring durability of the components and subsystems. ANSYS brings these tools together in a single intuitive and comprehensive simulation environment. For instance, ANSYS Space Claim can be used for rapid geometry generation and pre-processing via direct modeling. Space Claim can import all CAD formats and can aid in fast model preparation and parameterization. Design changes can be incorporated easily and intuitively. ANSYS Fluid Solutions are used across a wide range of turbulent and transient flow simulations. Accurate turbulence models including DES and LES are required to predict fluid dynamics loads, as well as calculate flow-induced vibration. Here we see sample results from a computational fluid dynamics analysis of the transient flow over the cone performed using ANSYS Fluent. The results show turbulent structures resolved using large eddy simulation. The animation on the left shows the variation of the skin friction coefficient contours on the surfaces of the cone caused by changing forces acting on the surface. Engineers are able to monitor the transient force components acting on the cone over a period of time. Then, using fast Fourier transform function in ANSYS Fluent, they are able to obtain the frequency and amplitude of the fluid dynamics force due to the vortex shedding. ANSYS Mechanical can then be used to perform modal analysis to determine the structural response of the flow meter to the fluid dynamics loads. The results from the simulation showed that two modes of vibration at 368 Hz and 383 Hz are in the frequency range of the excitation from the vortex shedding. In addition, the results of the harmonic response analysis showed peak stress levels at 0.86 and 0.53 MPa caused by fluid-induced vibration forces from vortex shedding loads. Finally, the harmonic analysis stress results are used to perform vibration fatigue analysis using best-in-class ENCODE design life. The fatigue region is identified at a connection point that can easily be redesigned to reduce stresses and eliminate failure points. Flow-induced vibration, a complex physical phenomenon. ANSYS Integrated Multiphysics Solutions can identify possible sources of vibration and assess design changes. Engineers can better manage this commonly occurring engineering challenge, reducing the potential for fatigue and failure.